Hi, I'm Commander Ben, and today I've been at Long Canyon cutting down invasive plants. And this is Mr. Warren here, and he has this is a biologist who has been fighting invasive plants for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And what organization do you work for again? I work for the Balcones Canyonlands Preserve. It's uh, part of the Austin Water Utility, actually. It's fantastic, and if you had to pick a favorite invasive, maybe to cut down or anything, what would it be? Well, Chinese privet is, is a pretty good one because you can automatically see your results, but uh, waxleaf ligustrum is another good one. I like that one a lot because you get the satisfaction of cutting down some big trees. It's fantastic. We've been fighting both of the plants that he just mentioned here, and it's been a rough battle, but I think we have tipped the scales to win. Well, I'm just in here with all these horrible Chinese privets, and I've been cutting them down and removing them, as you can one. see around me. One, and I'm just sawing on them and sawing on them. And there's so many, and it's a horrible plant because the golden sheep wolver can't use it for its uh, nests, and it just destroys everything around it. So, could you tell me a little about the Chinese privet right here? This is uh, Chinese privet. It's, uh, the Latin name is Ligustrum quihui. It's kind of a hard one to say. Um, it was originally brought in um, from China as an ornamental, and a lot of people still plant them in their gardens today. So one of the major things that we need to pay attention to is when we put things in our gardens, you gotta remember they don't just stay there, right? And so this spreads mostly through little berries, the teeny one right here. Um, they look like little dried up blueberries and uh, they float. And so uh, there's a property right over here that's not too far. Um, and somebody, a nice person I'm sure, planted it in their yard. And a big rainstorm came and those plants flooded into our property. And unbeknownst to them, it turned into a major infestation. And uh, we've done a great job today at cutting them down. So if you look in this direction, we see some really heavy stuff. And then if you look over here, these pieces have been removed. So now you can see the total understory of the, of the forest. And this will hopefully be replaced by native shrubs. So it's impenetrable in that direction, and now it's open. It's made a, quite a monoculture that we need to stop, and we'll eventually get all of this. Eventually. And, and bring the forest back to the way it should be. Exactly. So, uh, down with invasives. Now that we've cleared out the Chinese privets, this nice little Texas ash can thrive and grow to be a nice big tree, helping the native plants to continue as the way it should be.